run. Gosh, follow me. What is this? Not okay. What are you waiting for? Don't do that. Go there. You got it. Let's go see the self service check in box. This is the self service check in. If the check in line is really long and you need to speed things up, you can use the self service check in. In every row in the Suvarnabhumi Airport, there is at least one or more self service check ins for you to use. Here, you can just enter the numbers in your boarding pass. For the passport, you can just scan your passport like a piece of cake. Now, you can even select your language. And that's all for the passport control. Careful, not every airline is usable for the self-service check-in. These are the only airlines that are usable. And if you are unaware of which airline you can drop your bags in, here are the answers. I have a bag, and that's where it goes. The bag drop. Oh, this is awesome! Huh, we're gonna go see the observation deck up there. Let's go! We're right here at the observation deck now. You can see everything that happens here. Follow me. When the airplane goes off, you can see what happens behind the scenes. How the food are loaded into the airplane, how the luggages are loaded into the airplane. It's really amazing. Look, it's beautiful. Did you know that Savannapoom Airport doesn't use any AC? Well, they use chilling water under this floor to keep everything cold. Then they use some wind to push the coldness up and over all around the airport. Why do they do this? To preserve energy. So guys, thanks for watching. I'll take it to other places in Savannapoom Airport in the next episode. Don't forget, follow me at Luke Napat, click that subscribe button, ring that little bell, and stay tuned for the next episode. See you. Bye.